हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल शाह सर क्लासेस एंड एवर शाइन कोचिंग सेंटर आई एम शाह फैसल सर हियर माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस ऑफ सोशल साइंस सो दिस इज सोशल साइंस क्रैश कोर्स फॉर द एकेडमिक ईयर ट्वेंटी इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो of social science crash course i have given the very important questions of the part history of class 10 karnataka state board now we are going to continue the rest of the topics in this session before i could start this class i like to tell you that kindly please once go through the karnataka state model question paper department model question paper and state level preparatory question paper kindly revise both the papers once and then you can follow this video and the respective questions in case if you are going to study this questions it is more than sufficient for your upcoming board exam again i am repeating this questions we are going to give you from all the chapters including the marks kindly go through it and make sure that you know each and every answer of the following questions which we are going to give you now and once you complete this all the questions in case if you find time and then later you can study the other questions also which you feel as an important no problem for us from that part okay in history we have done now in this class i am going to start up with political science political science chapter number 1 problems of india and remedies problems of india and remedies now the question arises here sir which all the questions we want to study in this chapter how the questions will be asked how many marks the questions will be asked from this chapter for this all doubts i can let you know that from this chapter we can expect this year around 3 mark or 4 mark questions okay you can expect 3 mark or 4 mark questions from this chapter then which are those questions first question number 1 please make a note what are the causes what are the causes for unemployment what are the causes for unemployment please kindly take a notebook and the pen and copy down these questions as these questions whichever i am giving again i am repeating these are the very important questions and each and every student have to practice these all questions at least practice these questions to score a maximum marks okay fine what are the causes for unemployment my dear students the same question they can ask you in other form also you should be ready to answer any such type of questions okay causes uh, causes is nothing but reasons okay fine what are the reasons for unemployment or what are the causes for unemployment or the same question they can ask you in other form make a note unemployment unemployment has become a has become a huge problem unemployment has become a huge problem in india in india full stop why why next question take down what are the measures next question what are the measures needed what are the measures needed for the eradication eradication means removal if you want to remove eradication of unemployment of unemployment what are the measures needed for the eradication of unemployment next question next question what are the measures what are the measures undertaken undertaken for for the improve for the improve 
द स्टेटस ऑफ वुमेन इम्प्रूव द स्टेटस ऑफ वुमेन वॉट आर द मेजर्स अंडरटेकन टू इम्प्रूव द स्टेटस ऑफ वुमेन एंड माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर रिगार्डिंग द स्टेटस ऑफ वुमेन अगेन यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द क्वेश्चन राइट आई मीन टू से इन द आई मीन इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स ओके again you have the same question is going to get repeated based on the topic status of women okay so remember uh, here if you are going to make use of uh, uh, about the women whenever they ask you about the women about their status so you can answer this all points together also understood whenever if they ask you any question about the status of women again in the chapter social movement also as you can see there is a question based on women status got it so you can solve even in that uh, i mean even in that chapter also you can use these answers okay now the question is yeah what are the measures uh, taken undertaken to improve the status of women next question remember about women if they ask you any question you can use these answers and you can write even from that chapter whatever the points you feel as an important you can use those points in that chapter also as well as in this chapter also don't worry whenever if they ask you any question based on women they will ask you any one question okay about the status of women we have done it next question make a note how is how is communalism how is communalism fatal fatal to national unity to national unity how is communalism fatal to national unity question mark explain explain full stop next question what are the solutions what are the solutions next question what are the solutions or remedies or remedies both are one and the same remember these terms what are the solutions or remedies to prevent to prevent the problem of communalism to prevent the problem of communalism okay next question next question number 6 what are the measures what are the measures taken taken to curb to curb terrorism to curb terrorism in india what are the measures taken to curb terrorism in india or the same question also they can ask you in other form make a note being being a peace loving nation being a peace loving nation comma how india is fighting how india is fighting against terrorism against terrorism next question number 7 what are the effects what are the effects of corruption what are the effects of corruption next question what are the measures what are the measures taken taken to curb the problem of to curb the problem of corruption to curb the problem of corruption hence this is the end of this chapter so we have given all the important areas which you want to concentrate for this year board exam 
नेक्स्ट कमिंग बैक टू द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर फॉरेन पॉलिसी ऑफ इंडिया चैप्टर नंबर टू फॉरेन पॉलिसी ऑफ इंडिया दिस क्वेश्चन आई मीन दिस चैप्टर कैन बी आस्क फॉर आइदर टू मार्क्स और थ्री मार्क्स टू मार्क और थ्री मार्क क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर मेक ए नोट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जाम मेक ए नोट वॉट आर द एम्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव वॉट आर द एम्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ वॉट आर द एम्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ इंडिया फॉरिन पॉलिसी ऑफ इंडिया फॉरिन पॉलिसी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन टेक डाउन what are what are the what are the panchashila what are the panchashila principles what are the panchashila principles next question very 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 important very 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 important mention the factors mention the factors which influenced mention the factors which influenced and shaped and shaped india's foreign policy and shaped india's foreign policy question mark children you can write the answers in points okay no need to write the answers in paragraph kindly follow points order and for 3 mark you have to write minimum 6 to 8 points and for 4 mark minimum 8 to 10 points you should write okay next question next question very 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 important even this question what are the basic aspects what are the basic aspect of what are the basic aspect 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 of india's foreign policy what are the basic aspect of india's foreign policy or 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 the same question can be asked you in other form explain briefly explain briefly the fundamental principles of the fundamental principles of our foreign of our foreign policy explain briefly the fundamental principles of our foreign policy is this clear okay this is the end of this chapter now let me go to the next chapter that is india's relationship with other countries india's relationship with other countries chapter number 3 chapter number 3 india's relationship with other countries now my dear students here i like to mention one thing okay and uh, remember this chapter can be asked for either 2 marks or 3 marks for two or three marks this chapter can be asked now the question starts here in this chapter in the in case if they have to ask any three mark question now one thing will arise in our mind which are the questions are there in this chapter which are having more than five to six points so we target only those questions remember now as soon we see india's relationship with other countries one question will definitely comes in our mind that is india and pakistan my my dear students now india and pakistan issue is not so huge problem right so we don't want to create any kind of a difference between any countries or we don't want to fill any sort of things about india and pakistan 
these all things. It's a very old story about India and Pakistan relationship, right? So most probably the question will not be asked from this part this year, okay? So and uh, next, if you want to see India and China is there, even that is also not a big issue between India and China, okay? But still, as per the point ways, we have to take that India and China question, okay? We need to consider for the examination point of view. But here it is not so much important. But if you see the points, that is important. Now the very favorite question for the examiner here it arises between the relationship between India and Russia. And right now, as you can see, there is more problems has been arised between Ukraine and Russia, as you can see in daily news. So now it becomes a very important matter for us to understand the relationship between India and Russia. So you can expect a question based on India and Russia and second preference you can give for India and USA and third preference you can give for India and China. In case if you know at least minimum these three countries, what do we have the relation, okay, what, uh, how we have maintained the relationship or how is the relationship is going on between these countries with our country. So this makes a major sense to score a very good marks. Okay. So I want you have to study the relationship between how is the relationship is maintained between India and Russia, India and USA and India and China. So this is one of the important question in this chapter. Please make a note of few questions. I just like to give you how exactly the question can be asked, okay, the format of asking the question. First question number one, why does, why does countries need, why does countries need to have good relationship, why does countries need to have good relationship with other countries? with other countries or the same question can be asked for you in other form or it is it is inevitable it is inevitable for every country for every country to maintain a good relation to maintain a good relation with other countries, with other countries, full stop, why, why, next question, next question, the relationship between, the relationship between India and China, India and China is recently spoiled is recently spoiled full stop what are the reasons what are the reasons for this what are the reasons for this in case if they ask you this question they can ask you for two marks and even question number one also they can ask you for two marks okay next third question make a note in spite of in spite of the border dispute, in spite of the border dispute between India and China, between India and China, comma, how have they, how have they strengthened, strengthened, strengthened their relationship strengthened their relationship even this question also they can ask you for two marks next question very 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 important make a note india and usa india and usa are two democratic countries India and USA are two democratic countries, full stop, explain the mutual cooperation, explain the mutual cooperation that exists, 
that exist between both the countries that exist between both the countries next question very 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 important explain the relationship between explain the relationship between india and russia explain the relationship between india and russia is this clear okay so that this is the end of this chapter and next let me go to the next chapter that is chapter number 4 chapter number 4 global problems and india's role global problems and india's role okay my dear students here one thing will comes to our mind so how many marks this chapter carries remember from this chapter you can expect around one or two mark questions okay one or two mark questions will be asked from this chapter okay now the question for this chapter i i will like to tell you that uh, maybe the question will be asked for you like this what are the problems india has faced after independence okay you can expect a question what are the problems what are the problems india has faced india has faced after independence okay like such type of question they can ask you uh, i feel better you can refer your textbook questions for this chapter it is more than sufficient just go through your textbook question answers it is more than sufficient for this chapter okay and next uh, so this is the end of this chapter and chapter number 5 international institutions uh, and this chapter is deleted you no need to study this chapter as this chapter has got deleted now let me come back to the next part of social science that is sociology sociology now in sociology the first chapter is social stratification the first chapter of sociology is social stratification chapter number 1 social stratification now from this chapter again you can expect around two mark or three mark question two mark or three mark question from this chapter now how will be the questions for will be asked for this chapter mm, here make a note and here very uh, favorite for the examination question i mean for the examiner to choose the question from this chapter from when this syllabus has framed this chapter has framed from that time till now this question has mostly repeated question each and every year okay ab jitne bhi exam papers dekhenge to ye question 100% us paper mein aaya hua hai ho sakta hai abhi bhi is time pe bhi yahi question aa sakta hai understood yeah make a note of that question what are the what are the constitutional what are the constitutional and and legal measures and legal measures undertaken undertaken to eradicate to eradicate untouchability very 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 important question what are the constitutional and legal measures undertaken to eradicate untouchability this question has been repeated most number of times in the exam yeah next question how does how does gender discrimination takes place how does gender discrimination takes place next question what are the reasons 
what are the reasons or causes for social for social inequality for social inequality okay fine so this is the end of this chapter you can study these number of questions from this chapter now let me come to the next chapter labor chapter number 2 chapter number 2 of sociology yeah from the uh, this chapter can be asked for you the chapter labor for around 1 or 2 marks 1 marks or 2 marks the question can be asked okay and here one is the favorite question for the examiner to pick from this chapter that is come and make a note what are the differences what are the differences between organized workers what are the differences between organized workers and unorganized workers unorganized workers what are the differences between organized workers and unorganized workers next question what are the challenges what are the challenges or problems challenges means problems okay what are the challenges faced by faced by unorganized unorganized sectors unorganized sectors workers unorganized sector workers okay so you have to make a list all organized sector and next column unorganized sector you maintain two columns you can collect all the information between organized and unorganized workers you will get the entire chapter over there so that is more than sufficient if you are going to study this chapter and now next chapter number 3 social movements social movements okay now the question starts here so which are the very important questions in this chapter okay see children for social movements i like to tell you that please write all the movements okay write make a table make a table in which write the names of all the movements write the names of all the movements okay and briefly explain them like who started this movement okay make the movement and who started it it's a very important question make a list of all the movements and then in the next column make a note of who started this movement so this is one of the important question for your examination point of view from this chapter and next here the question starts like they may ask you any question related to mob or mob violence i hope in your preparatory exam also you might have seen in model paper also you have seen based upon this topic okay on mob and mob violence okay if you want take down the question i'll i'll give you first question what are the nature what are the nature of mob behavior what are the nature of mob behavior or 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 same question they can ask you in other form explain the nature of mob explain the nature of mob next question explain the nature second question explain the nature of mob violence explain the nature of mob violence
ओके एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन चिपको मूवमेंट सी द मेन टाइटल इज चिपको मूवमेंट लेट दे गिव एनी थिंग इन द क्वेश्चन इफ यू सी द चिपको मूवमेंट वर्ड राइट द आंसर वॉट एवर यू नो अबाउट चिपको मूवमेंट रिमेंबर ओके एक्सप्लेन चिपको मूवमेंट एंड नेक्स्ट एक्सप्लेन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन अपिको मूवमेंट ऑफ कर्नाटका एक्सप्लेन अपिको मूवमेंट ऑफ कर्नाटका नेक्स्ट एक्सप्लेन नर्मदा बचाओ आंदोलन एक्सप्लेन नर्मदा बचाओ बचाओ आंदोलन और आंदोलन एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन मूवमेंट एक्सप्लेन मूवमेंट अपोजिंग अपोजिंग कईगा न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट कईगा न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट ओके सो आई हैव गिवन ए सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन बट मेक श्योर दैट दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड बेस्ड ऑन मॉब एंड मॉब वायलेंस दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट नर्मदा बचाओ आंदोलन so these three questions are very 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 important do not miss these questions okay so this is the end of this chapter number 3 and then let we go to the next unit uh children so one thing make a note of one more type question this has already appeared in the exam that's the reason i'm giving you this question means in social movements only take down why is mob violence why is mob violence an anti social activity why is mob violence an anti social activity anti social activity okay and social problems it is deleted so we are not going to study much about the chapter and then coming back to the chapter the sub part of the social science the new topic geography okay as you know that geography carries total 22 marks okay children here we have a chapter number 1 here mostly this chapter will be chosen for map questions majority questions will come for map from this chapter like for example which are the type of questions will be asked please make a note tropic of cancer tropic of cancer 23 and half degree north latitude 23 and half degree north latitude next 82 and half degree 82 and half degree east longitude east longitude twenty three and half half degree north latitude eighty two and half degree east longitude Indira Coal, Indira Coal, Indira Point, Indira Point, okay, Indira Coal, Indira Point, Kanya Kumari, Kanya Kumari. So these are the map-based questions you need to concentrate. Is this clear? good so this chapter most probably they may choose for map based questions and then coming back to chapter number 2 chapter number 2 that is india physiography india physiography children here this chapter they can choose for two mark carrying question and the two mark okay uh sometimes what they do here they may use one mark for multiple choice question 
एंड वन मार्क फॉर थियरी क्वेश्चन इन सच ए वे दे कैन चूज फॉर दिस चैप्टर इफ नॉट डायरेक्टली टू मार्क वन क्वेश्चन ओके यू शुड बी वेरी मच केयरफुल इन दिस चैप्टर मेक ए नोट ऑफ द थियरी क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट आर दूंस वॉट आर दूंस डी डबल ओ एन एस वॉट आर दूंस क्वेश्चन मार्क गिव एग्जाम्पल गिव एग्जाम्पल वॉट आर दूंस गिव एग्जाम्पल ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द पेनेंसिल आई मीन सॉरी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच आर द विच आर द मेन फिजियोग्राफिक डिविजन्स ऑफ इंडिया विच आर द मेन फिजियोग्राफिक डिविजन्स ऑफ इंडिया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द पेनेंसिलो प्लैच्यू द पेनेंसिलो द पेनेंसिलो प्लैच्यू has great economic significance has great economic significance full stop why full stop why or 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 instead of peninsula plateau they can use the word or take down deccan plateau deccan plateau both are one and the same next question what are the advantages what are the advantages of himalayas what are the advantages of himalayas or or same question they will ask you in other form take down state the importance state the importance of of the northern mountains of the northern mountains remember advantages of himalayas are importance of northern mountains both are one and the same don't get confused next question what are the what are the economic importance what are the economic importance of the of the northern greater plain of the northern great plain northern great plain next question mention any four mention any four economic importance mention any four economic importance of coastal plains of india of coastal plains of india next question differentiate between differentiate between east coast and west coast east coast and west coast next differentiate between differentiate between western ghats western ghats and eastern ghats and eastern ghats that is the end of this chapter and next coming back to chapter number 3 chapter number 3 india climate india climate my dear students here also you can get this chapter for 2 marks okay you can expect for two mark and also they may you may get any question in multiple choice question for one mark and also chances are there one mark multiple choice question also can be asked from this chapter india climate take down the question which factors uh, which factors okay take down which factors influence which factors influence the climate of india which factors influence the climate of india 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच आर द फोर विच आर द फोर इंडियन क्लाइमेट सीजन विच आर द फोर इंडियन क्लाइमेट सीजन चिल्ड्रंस हियर यू शुड राइट द नेम ऑफ द सीजन अलॉन्ग विद दैट फ्रॉम विच मंथ टू विच मंथ बोथ यू शुड राइट रिमेंबर ओके या एग्जाम्पल समर सीजन मार्च टू मे साउथ वेस्ट मानसून सीजन जून टू सेप्टेंबर रिट्रीटिंग मानसून सीजन अक्टोबर टू नवंबर विंटर सीजन डिसम्बर टू फेब्रुवरी सो दिस इज अ फोर क्लाइमेटिक सीजन राइट ऑफ यूर इंडिया या ऑफ अवर कंट्री दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू राइट द आंसर ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन explain the weather condition explain the weather condition in the summer season explain the weather condition in the summer season next question explain the winter season of india explain the winter season of india so you can study along with that you can give more importance for one more questions they may ask you the question like highest temperature rainfall okay coldest month uh, where we get very least rainfall where we get heavy rainfall understood so many such type of questions are there mango shower got it coffee blossom okay what is the other name of retreating monsoon season name of conventional rainfall in uttar pradesh such type of questions are there highest temperature lowest temperature region like such type of more number of questions are there for one mark so kindly go through it and next coming back to the next chapter number 4 okay those all which i have discussed that is one mark question and about your climate okay about your summer season and winter season this question you can expect for two marks these questions next chapter is india soils chapter number 4 india soils children from this chapter you can expect around 3 mark question you can expect 3 mark question okay yeah here the questions will be asked for you this is the very basic questions and standard questions make a note about uh, take down the question why do we need first question why do we need soil conservation why do we need soil conservation or 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 same question they can ask you in other form make a note how does soil erosion how does soil erosion led to l e a d led to many problems how does soil erosion led to many problems or 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 next question uh, means same question they can ask you in another form what are the effects of soil erosion what are the effects or results effects or results of soil erosion next question question number 2 how would you control how would you control soil erosion how would you control soil erosion or 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 take down what are the ways what are the ways of preventing soil erosion what are the ways of preventing soil erosion next question how is black soil how is black soil highly suitable for highly suitable for dry farming how is black soil highly suitable for dry farming or 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 take down why is why is regar soil r e g u r why is regar soil best for dry farming why is regar soil best for dry farming next question what are the causes what are the causes 
for soil erosion for soil erosion next question how is desert soil formed how is desert soil formed okay so you can study these questions from this chapter next chapter number 5 india forest resources india forest resources children from this chapter you can get two mark or one mark question or one mark or two mark question from this chapter and uh, make sure that you can expect this question even in multiple choice okay from this chapter you can expect a multiple choice for multiple choice kindly go with the fill ups of your textbook questions fill in the blanks of your textbook please refer your textbook okay here they may ask you the question mostly on this topic from this uh, forest uh, chapter and they may ask you what are the characteristics make a note what are the characteristics of evergreen forest what are the characteristics of evergreen forest next deciduous forest deciduous forest what are the characteristics of deciduous forest what are the characteristics of mangrove forest what are the characteristics of mangrove forest so these are the types of questions you can get from this chapter apart from that make a note what are the main causes what are the main causes for destruction of forest what are the main causes what are the main causes for destruction of forest for destruction of forest next question what are your suggestions what are your suggestions for conservation of forest what are your suggestions for conservation of forest or 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 same question they can ask you in other form how can we conserve forest how can we conserve forest okay and here uh, you can please go through this question about your please this is important maybe you can expect in one more questions also about the important wild sanctuary trees please go through the names okay and where it is located the name of the state wild sanctuary trees i mean sorry wild sanctuaries and also national parks national parks of india national parks of india are you getting yeah this two topics i want you have to go through it and remember the name and in which state it is located you should know both the things what it important wild sanctuary trees of india along with that main national parks in india okay so this is the very important question from this chapter now let me go to the next chapter india water resources chapter number 6 chapter number 6 india water resources my dear students in this year most probably this chapter they can take for map based questions okay you can get map based questions from this chapter example they may ask you okay like uh, uh, to locate the rivers like narmada narmada river godavari kaveri ganga river are you getting children so this type rivers which all the rivers are mentioned in your textbook and they have given the detail information of that river only that river map location only they will ask you okay and also about the projects like bhakra nangal project tungabhadra kosi damodar etc so this type of uh, projects and rivers you should know where it is located where it is situated so from india water resources you can expect a question based on map okay next chapter number 7 
chapter number 7 india land resources now from the chapter india land resources it's a actually very big chapter and from this chapter this year you can expect around 3 mark or 4 mark question 3 mark or 4 mark question make a note of those questions distinguish between distinguish between kharif and kharif k h a r i f kharif crop season kharif crop season and rabi crop season and rabi crop season next question what are the conditions what are the conditions required required for sugarcane cultivation what are the conditions required for sugarcane cultivation next what are the conditions required what are the conditions required for cotton cultivation for cotton cultivation next what are the conditions required what are the conditions required for wheat cultivation for wheat cultivation next question very important question explain the importance of explain the importance of agriculture in india explain the importance of agriculture in india or 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 same question they can ask you in another form make a note the economic progress the economic progress of the country the economic progress of the country depends on agriculture depends on agriculture full stop justify full stop justify next very 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 important question mention mention the types of mention the types of agriculture methods mention the types of agriculture methods or or the same question they can also ask you in other form make a note list out list out the different kinds of list out the different kinds of farming farming practiced in india practiced in india next question list out list out the different the different land use patterns of india land use patterns of india list out the different land use patterns of india or 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 mention the classification mention the classification of land use of land use next question explain the role of explain the role of horticulture in india explain the role of horticulture in india next question floriculture floriculture plays a significant role floriculture plays a significant role in indian agriculture in indian agriculture full stop justify justify now next question mention the factors very 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 important mention the factors which affects mention the factors which affects cropping pattern mention the factors which affects cropping pattern or 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 mention the factors mention the factors which affect which affect the land use which affect the land use 
okay so we have completed this chapter next coming back to chapter number 8 but unfortunately this chapter has got deleted then let me go to chapter number 9 so you are not going to get any question from this chapter no chapter number 9 India transport and communication Indian transport and communication okay my dear students here is from this chapter you can expect one mark question or two mark question three mark question or even four mark question okay you can expect any sort of these questions from this chapter and it is one of the important chapter for your upcoming board exam okay here which other types of questions will be asked in this chapter please make a note first question question number one Briefly explain, briefly explain the importance of transport, briefly explain the importance of transport in India, in India, briefly explain the importance of transport in India. Next question, road transport, road transport is better than is better than railway transport road transport is better than railway transport full stop substantiate substantiate s u b s t a n t i a t e substantiate or 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 same question they can ask you in other form explain the importance of explain the importance of rural development rural development explain the importance of rural development next question explain the importance of explain the importance of communication communication next explain the importance of explain the importance of air transport air transport next question mention the different types of mention the different types of communication in india mention the different types of communication in india next question mention this is very 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 important question remember mention important mention important international airports mention important international airports of india of india children even this question they can choose for map remember to locate instead of giving delhi they will ask you to locate indira gandhi international airport Instead of asking to locate in map, map ke andar agar se aapko Mumbai ki jaga mein aapko directly Mumbai nahi deya jayega. Okay, aapko ye kaha jayega ki locate karo Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport. So you should know Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport is located in Mumbai. So you have to locate Mumbai. If they ask you Kempe Gowda International Airport, then you have to locate Bengaluru okay like that they can ask you indirectly so you have to remember these all names and even the city's names okay mention important international airports of india and then okay and next question make a note mention the ports on the west coast Mention the ports on the west coast and east coast. Children, so you have to remember these ports names also. Uh, please make a note of these ports. Write two sides. One is west coast and other one is east coast. And you can prepare for that. Is this clear? So, this is the very important topic from this chapter. India transport. Your airports. Okay ports 
importance of uh, communication are you getting importance of transport system road transport system so these questions i want you need to study as this plays a major role in your final upcoming board exam and then coming back to chapter number 10 indian industries chapter number 10 indian industries and my dear students from this chapter indian industries you can expect the question for 1 mark 2 mark or even 3 mark question make a note of the questions what are the factors what are the factors of location of industries what are the factors of location location of industries okay children i like to tell you one thing here okay aapko ek baat batana chahta hu is to is topic ke related agar se aapko industries to hamare kahi tarah ke hain jaise ki we have manufacturing industries right and we have aluminium industry are you getting children and also we have cotton textile industry and then we have uh, what we say that uh, knowledge based industry okay iron and steel industry so many industries are there right iron and steel industry so altogether we have five different types of industries we have five different types of industries for this all the questions okay the first four points remain same remember this this is the advantage for you let they ask any question regarding the location of industries the answer remains same at least minimum of the first four points the answers remains same remember this point let they ask any question please straight forward you can write the same answer for that and only last ultimately the last one or two points it differs between each point so as this location of industries topic is very important for your examination point of view done good and next take down the next question list out <laughs> list out the major industrial regions list out the major industrial regions in india list out the major industrial regions in india okay next question mumbai is called mumbai is called the manchester of india mumbai is called the manchester of india full stop why why next question explain how explain how the industries explain how the industries help in economic development help in economic development of a country explain how the industries help in the economic development of a country so this is the end of this chapter indian industries and next coming back to the next chapter indian natural disasters indian natural disasters that is chapter number 11 okay children in this chapter number 11 okay you have to remember one thing we have so many natural disasters right so please make a table for all the disasters right what are the causes okay what are the effects effects means result what are the effects and what are the preventive measures what are the preventive measures you have to remember this table please make a note of all the natural disasters names and make a note remember what are the causes what are the effects due to that and what are the remedial measures how can you prevent it example floods 
what are the causes for floods what are the effects due to floods and what are the preventive measures are taken to prevent floods like such type of question and after floods we have cyclones we have cyclone these all are the natural disasters after cyclones we have landslides we have landslides apart from landslides we have erosion coastal erosion coastal erosion got it and apart from coastal erosion and ultimately we have earthquakes earthquakes for all as you can see even here all the preventive measures for all the things are same or a bit same if you see the preventive measures how can you prevent floods cyclones landslides coastal erosion earthquakes okay the few of the points remain same you can use same answer for all the causes or for all the effects understood of natural disasters so this is one of the important question in this chapter and apart from that make a note of the next question okay this is first question you have to remember this table second question explain how explain how both natural and explain how both natural and human induced forces human induced forces cause landslides cause landslides explain how both natural and human influenced or human induced forces cause landslides and next chapter we have indian population but this chapter is deleted you no need to study this chapter and also from this chapter you will be not getting any questions and next coming back to the chapter economics okay see children in economics we have the chapter development rural development only two chapters are there and it carries seven marks okay one interesting thing i like to tell you that in economics you have a three mark question you have three mark one question and there is a choice and there is a choice and which chapter you feel as very easy kindly refer that chapter all long answers understood from economics in three mark question you will get one choice question the advantage for you people is only two chapters which you have to study here out of these two chapters from you can study any one chapter complete questions so that easily you people can score a very good marks but i prefer you can follow the rural development as the number of questions are less in this chapter and you can score a very good marks is this clear rural development and here we have three mark question one question and as i said you that this chapter carries seven marks it means that one mark one question 2 mark 1 question and 3 mark 1 question 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 and 1 mark 1 multiple choice question will be asked from this chapter and in 3 mark there is one choice question will be given to you from economics got it yes now take down the important questions from this chapters first question okay explain the objectives explain the objectives of economic development explain the objectives of economic development next what is what is hdi question mark how is it calculated how is it calculated it's a two mark question okay explain the objectives of economic development two marks what is hdi two mark question how it how uh, is it calculated next question how to uh, uh, achieve next question how to achieve gender equality how to achieve gender equality 
okay even this is also for two mark next question see uh, we have the uh, this chapter right what i said uh, india problems and their sol remedial measures that is solutions your uh, political science first chapter we have a question based on women right here also we have the problem question on women okay take down the next question explain the importance of explain the importance of women self help groups explain the importance of women self help groups so this question they can ask for either 2 marks or 3 marks okay next question per capita income per capita income is not true indicators is not true indicators of development of development full stop why question mark two marks next question the formulation of the formulation of human development index the formulation of human development index in bracket write down hdi capital hdi close the bracket was essential was essential to measure to measure economic development economic development full stop explain explain two marks next question per capita income per capita income is being used per capita income is being used as an indicator of development as an indicator of development instead of national income instead of national income full stop why why question mark two marks next question what are the reasons for gender discrimination what are the reasons for gender discrimination two marks next question briefly explain hdi briefly explain hdi full stop three marks next chapter rural development rural development take down the first question how is the economic situation how is the economic situation in the rural areas of india in the rural areas of india how is the economic situation in the rural areas of india next question briefly explain briefly explain the importance of rural development briefly explain the importance of rural development very 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 important question please make a note briefly explain the importance of rural development next question explain briefly explain briefly the significance of rural development explain briefly the significance of rural development very 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 important question please make a note next mention the activities mention the activities essential essential for rural development essential for rural development full stop make a note this is very 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 important question next what is the role of panchayat raj institutions what is the role of panchayat raj institutions in rural development in rural development very 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 important question next list the key features of list the key features of the panchayat raj system the panchayat raj system adopted in india adopted in india full stop as i have mentioned these all questions carries 3 marks very 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 important question last question make a note how is 
ओमेन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स हाउ इज ओमेन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स क्रिएटिंग ए प्रोग्रेसिव क्रिएटिंग ए प्रोग्रेसिव रूरल सोसाइटी रूरल सोसाइटी क्वेश्चन मार्क सी चिल्ड्रन इंप्रूविंग द स्टेटस ऑफ वुमेन वुमेन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स रोल ऑफ वुमेन इन द डेवलपमेंट ओके दिस ऑल आंसर्स आर सिमिलर टू इच अदर ओके दिस ऑल आर द दिस ऑल इज विद ड्यू रेस्पेक्ट टू द वुमेन इट सेल्फ सो यू कैन क्लब दिज आंसर्स एंड यू कैन राइट ऑल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम ओके एंड मनी एंड क्रेडिट इट इज रिलेटेड पब्लिक फाइनेंस एंड बजेट इवन दिस चैप्टर इज रिलेटेड एंड नाउ कमिंग बैक टू द लास्ट टॉपिक द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ सोशल साइंस दैट इज बिजनेस स्टडीज बिजनेस स्टडीज ओके चिल्ड्रन इन बिजनेस स्टडीज वी हैव थ्री चैप्टर्स एंड हियर द टोटल बिजनेस स्टडीज इट कैरीज सेवन मार्क्स एंड द चैप्टर्स आर बैंकिंग ट्रांजेक्शन एंटरप्रीनरशिप एंड कंज्यूमर एजुकेशन एंड प्रोडक्शन Again, in this uh, business studies also, you have a question for three mark, one question, and there will be a choice. So, what I suggest to you that any one chapter long answers, you have to buy it all the answers, so that easily you people can fetch a very good marks. Got it? Business studies, and my dear students, still if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, Shahsar Classes, kindly do subscribe it and click the bell icon. and after watching this complete video share this video with your all friends and also with your classmates if possible you can put the status as your social websites so that let others also get benefit from these questions for their upcoming board exam okay and at last don't forget to comment how was this class and what video you want to make me next one important note the admissions are opened in evershen coaching center we do have branch in bangalore that is in tannery road right now we have shifted the location to the new place near in the same locality near water tank the newly constructing bangalore metro station adjacent building okay if you need you can just contact to us on these respective numbers and this is my whatsapp number 9964257448 we do conduct classes for this year from class 1st to class 12th standard okay if any students are interested for pu you can contact to us and also for 10th standard also especially we will be teaching with the specialized coaching of resource persons and subject experts will be taking classes over here okay and the objectives of our program is we do complete the entire syllabus we give our own notes we provide our own study material the respective testers will be conducted and much more opportunities will be given for the students to improve their results okay so this is the this is what we are going to conduct in our institute and you can recommend to your juniors you can tell about our institute as we have seen so many n number of classes of from us okay you can give a reference for your juniors about our coaching institute we have branch in bangalore okay in mornings for 10th standard student for the uh, for this year upcoming batch okay 2022 2023 will be taking in the morning online classes are going to start about the fee structure you can contact to us and in the evening we are conducting offline classes thank you take care children be watching to our channel wish you all the best of luck okay business study first chapter banking transaction banking transaction first question what are the services of what are the services of post offices what are the services of post offices or 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 postal bank account postal bank account is included is included in the banking transactions in the banking transactions full stop how how question mark next question the number of saving bank the number of saving bank account holders the number of saving bank account holders is increasing is increasing full stop give reason give reason 
ain't. See children, here the advantage in this chapter of business study, uh, here I like to tell you one thing. Let they ask you the question. For example, what are the advantages? What are the advantages advantages of opening a bank account? Let they give you the question. Advantages of opening a bank account. If not, let they give you what are the characteristics? What are the characteristics to the bank transaction? What are the characteristics of the bank transaction? If not, let they give you the question by stating that what are the functions of a bank what are the functions of a bank if not let they ask you the question what are the services what are the services offered by banks children for these all questions answer remains same let they ask any of the following question the few starting few points remain same for for this all the questions so this is the plus point for you people in this chapter okay let they ask you to write the advantages or characteristics, functions, services. Okay. For these all questions, the answers remains same. You can please go through those questions. Again, I am repeating. If they may ask you the question in such a way that what are the advantages of opening a bank account? Next, what are the characteristics relating, relating to banking transaction? Or next, explain the functions of a bank. Or next, uh, what are the services offered by banks? What are the services offered by banks? For these all the questions, specifically, the answers remains same. The few points, it remains same. And you can go through those answers and cross-check how it is similar to each other. That's the plus point and this is one of the important questions in this chapter. Yeah, next question. What are the steps? What are the steps to open a bank account? What are the steps or procedure? What are the procedure or steps to open a bank account? Bank account. Next question. What are the differences? Write the differences between write the differences between savings bank account savings bank account and current account and current account next question write the differences between write the differences between recurring deposit account recurring deposit account and term or fixed deposit account term or fixed deposit account so this is the completion of this chapter and from this chapter you can expect around three mark question okay banking transaction it is one of the important chapter please do not miss out this chapter as this chapter holds a large number of marks and next chapter entrepreneurship Chapter number two, entrepreneurship. Children, here I want you have to remember all the people names, okay? All the profile peoples, profile peoples, and their roles, and their roles. You have to make a chart in which remember, okay? Who started Amul Milk? Who is the father of White Revolution? Understood. You have to remember like uh, Ekta Kapoor. You can write role. What is the role of Ekta Kapoor? She is known as the queen of Indian television sector. Queen role is queen of uh, queen of Indian television. Profile name people name is Ekta Kapoor. Are you getting? So you are supposed to write the make a chart like this and study for uh, study from the chart. Definitely you will get one question from this topic very important question next take down the next question explain the importance explain the importance of an entrepreneurship explain the importance of an entrepreneurship 
next question what are the characteristics what are the characteristics of entrepreneurship what are the characteristics of entrepreneurship next write the functions write the functions of an entrepreneur write the functions of an entrepreneur okay next question mention the names of the mention the names of the financial institutions mention the names of the financial institutions next mention the mention the promotional organizations mention the promotional organizations of entrepreneurs of entrepreneurs this is the end of this chapter entrepreneurship and the last chapter we have come to the end of your social science that is chapter number 3 i hope you people had a very great journey with us throughout this year and i am very thankful for each and every audience each and every subscriber who have subscribed to our channel and who have got benefit from our channel and i like to tell you that please you can go to the google you can go to google in that you can just give a review about our channel about our classes and what are the benefits you have got from our youtube channel and also how much successful you were you were been from our study materials you can give whatever the reviews you can give and it will gives a plus point plus confidence for your juniors okay so you are the creators you need to create you need to build so that the others can follow you people okay you can go to google and in that you can select the name evershine coaching center bangalore okay you can type in google by the name evershine coaching center bangalore so that the google it will display you the screen over there in that you can go to the reviews column there will be a stars column will be given 1 2 3 4 5 stars will be given you can select as the stars what you like okay if you are rated our classes yeah, wonderful then you can select for the five star okay and then you can write the review over there in the section in the review section you can type you can comment you can share your feelings you can share your thoughts you can share the ideas with each and every one okay it is a plus point and make sure the children you will be using this opportunity done now let me come to the last chapter of this episode okay and so that we will be completing the entire social science of class 10 karnataka state board as per the reduced syllabus for the academic year 2021 2022 let's begin with last chapter consumer education and production and children in this chapter you should remember the date the date is very 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 important for your exam every year you need to remember march 15th of every year we are going to celebrate as world consumer day okay as this question has been repeated most number of times in the exam okay and from this chapter you can expect a one mark question also and take down the next question what are the problems faced by consumer make a note what are the problems what are the problems faced by consumer by consumer next next what are the causes what are the causes for consumer exploitation what are the causes for consumer exploitation next mention the four important mention the four important aims mention the four important aims of the consumer protection act of the consumer protection act mention the four important aims of the consumer protection act next question what are the major functions what are the major functions 
of the consumer protection council what are the major functions of the consumer protection council next question what are the methods what are the methods to follow what are the methods to follow to file a complaint to file a complaint in consumer court in consumer court next question what are the rights of consumer what are the rights of consumer the last question what are the advantages what are the advantages for educating a consumer what are the advantages of educating a consumer okay children in business study we have three chapters as i suggested you whichever the chapter you feel as important please kindly you study the chapter in detail out of these three chapters study at least any two chapters whichever you feel as an important or which you feel as an easy out of three chapters you can study any of the chapter out of these three chapters got it any two chapters you need to study you can eliminate one chapter long answers which you feel as difficult as i have given the questions here okay out of that whichever the chapter you feel as difficult you can skip those three mark questions the long answers of the chapter and you can study any two chapters so that you can score a out of out marks from this chapter wish you all the best of luck children once again still if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel shasar classes kindly do subscribe it and click the bell icon and if you like this class click the like button share this video with your all friends wish you all the best of luck we wish you all the best of luck all our subscribers all the students the one who has subscribed or whoever have not subscribed for each and every one wish we the escc the team of escc is always okay praying for you people our blessings are with you people do well give well the results take care bye bye